so a nanoparticle is in essence a small package made out of little tiny molecules that can contain a drug inside of it. And that allows us to send that package to different places where we want that drug to go. Dr. Yolanda Colson is an associate professor in thoracic surgery at BWH. She's one of several physicians who use nanoparticles to kill cancer cells. Her focus is on lung cancer. Her colleague, Dr. Omid Farakazad, runs the Laboratory of Nanomedicine, focusing on the use of nanoparticles to cure prostate cancer. So we're able to engineer nanotechnology for cancer application that can identify the differences between a normal cell and a cancer cell and specifically kill the cancer cell while leaving a healthy cell alone. These nanoparticles travel the same pathways in the body that a tumor cell takes. The nanoparticles we've now developed basically carry a chemotherapy drug inside them and are able to recognize a cancer cell, bind to the surface of the cancer cell, get internalized, and then once inside of the cancer cell to release that chemotherapy drug over an extended period of time. Then we can concentrate our drug, use less drug at that site, have less side effects, and not deliver it to places we don't need it. After surgery and the large tumors have been removed, it's really to prevent recurrence, either right at the site of the surgery or within the lymph nodes, which are the most common local areas of getting tumor back. Dr. Colson says nanoparticles' usefulness extends way beyond treating lung or prostate cancer. There's no reason that it wouldn't work in all cancers. It just would probably depend on us um, changing how we use it or working it a way to make it target specific tumor cells directly. Nanoparticles are also being used to determine the course of disease by pathologists, like Dr. Massimo Loda, who runs the Loda lab at BWH. The nanotechnology allows us to probe the tumor tissue for the presence or absence of biomarkers. Biomarkers are the expressions of genes that a pathologist uses to determine a person's risk for certain diseases, like breast or prostate cancer. For his work, Dr. Loda uses a specific type of nanoparticle called a quantum dot. If you look in a tissue using quantum dots, you will see different areas of a particular tumor light up with different colors, and that gives us a wealth of information in terms of the expression of genes that we previously didn't know were there.